Kingston, New Hampshire. Yeah. Or military yeah. forklift. 1982 case M4K. It's gonna be cool. It's like a field trip. It is a field trip. Not even kind of. Yeah. Oh. Is there gonna be enough room, man? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you drove it with the trailer many times before. Didn't Not this trailer, right? I met Zach about 12 years ago. <laughs> it was kind of a unique circumstance. I had this Craigslist gig driving for this blind guy named Cody. Cody picked up this old Mustang too and he wanted to do an engine tranny swap in it and Zach got hired to do it. That Mustang too is a whole other story, but that's how I met Zach. Uh, we became friends, got a shop together. I've been through some shenanigans and worked on a bunch of projects and a lot of adventures over the years, and uh, it's been great. When I think of somebody who is talented, he's got to be the most talented guy that I can think of when it comes to anything automotive fabrication work. He really is next level. Right there. Good to go? Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. 2014, I helped him find this F700 box truck in New York. Uh, he chopped it down, moved the axle floor, and turned it into a F700 pickup. Really cool build. He really took his time with this and made sure that everything was immaculate. Well, it wasn't long before he decided to do the same thing with a school bus. in his bus right now, Stubby. Two years in the making. 2001 International Bluebird. Uh, 3800. It has DT 466 engine. Allison 2000 series transmission. Cut 20 feet out of the body. Shortened everything. The brake hoses, the drive shaft, all the electrical. I did all the body work, so look seamless and, and everything. See it's got custom rug. Yep, custom carpet from Martin's. Full of rims, right? Of course. Yeah, it's sharp looking bus, man. Yeah, it gets all the looks. Some of you might remember the video I did about helping Zach move a pirate ship patio. One of the few positive things that came out as a result of the pandemic was outside seating at local restaurants. Lots of businesses made these small outside patio decks to allow people to eat. And after the pandemic, they were allowed to keep them so they could accommodate extra outside seating. The only issue is they have to be removed in the fall and replaced in the spring so that the city can plow. Zach has turned this into a side hall, so moving restaurant patios for people. The only issue is his current forklift is just a little too small to do it. And this is why we're on this field trip on our way to New Hampshire to purchase this Case Military forklift.
online. Yeah. We're all loaded up and headed back to Maine. Why are you cold? Well, no, like, heat should be on, but I have air going. I need air in here. The feeling of being home when you cross this green bridge is pretty cool. We had to take a pit stop at Kennebunkport to grab some fuel and some grub. Alright, now what? Get some food. You guys hungry? Yeah. Some chicken. Yep. On the way back, Zach bought everybody lunch for coming on the trip. $87 worth of Popeye's chicken. We made it in one piece. So far. Yep. Again, yeah, don't kill us on the way home, Rusty. <laughs> the must hold good. Rusty drove us the rest of the way home. He'd never driven anything with air brakes before, so he stabbed the brakes a couple times and almost sent us through the windshield. Other than that, pretty uneventful. Uh, we made it! Woo! Good job. You lost, you lost your tip about a mile before the exit off 95. Yeah, school bus driving might not be your thing. Rusty. Oh, please. Are you almost there? <laughs> bus driver, let us out. Well, how to do it. Sending Put kids down the aisle. open clothes. That was fun. Yeah. We did it. Yep. Zach shouldn't have any problems moving patios with the new lift. The huge plus to this Case M4K is that it's four-wheel drive with big tires meant for off-road. Historically, we've had some issues with the Clark lift getting stuck. Not anymore. You can't do that with the Clark. You can't do that with the Clark forklift. No. Anybody else? Try it? Yeah, I'll drive it. Go ahead. How do I drive it? I'll show you. So watch this. So you got your up and down. Side shift. Oh, tilt. Nice. That's sick, dude. It was really cool of Zach to get all of his friends together to go on this trip. As we grow older in life, it seems like there are fewer and fewer opportunities to go on random adventures with friends, making memories.